Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun one. It is a sit down video on my decision on whether I'm going to re-enlist or not. I did a video um, not too long ago. Maybe, actually it's been a while. It might have actually been almost a year. Wow, almost a year now. And at the time I was not sure what I was going to do. I think it was kind of a and a like mixed together too. I'm not really sure but um yeah so that's the video for today i'm excited to talk to you guys about it i'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about it um so let's get into the video okay so as you all know um or may not know um almost six years ago i decided to join um, the military i joined the army and it was the craziest decision of my life i had no idea what i was getting into um in a way like i haven't really sat down and, and said why i joined the army i had like reasons actually I did but there's like as I've matured and gotten older I was a teenager when I freaking did this <laughs> and there was so much more depth to like me doing something like this and um everyone has their own reasons of why and um but I, I do have my own reasons I could do like a separate video or whatever but it's just it was just a stepping stone in my journey in life and it's done so many incredible things for me I've traveled a lot i've traveled so much i've um made money obviously as a young person i got to start my retirement early earlier than usual like there's no teenagers out there who have started a retirement you know um i've got to meet so many incredible people uh lifetime friends that are so dear to me um like my battle buddy from ait we still talk to this day it's been almost five years um since it's been five years wow it's been five years since i've seen her and we've always tried to you know get together um but i'm going to her wedding her wedding's been postponed like twice because of corona obviously but uh, we talk regularly we've always talked regularly since the day we both said our goodbyes back at fort leonard wood five years ago um and even now I've just it's an incredible like experience just meeting new people um on the downside it does suck at times um, being away from your family, being in the field, being around people, getting on your nerves. Like, I think that's just a job in general. I think a lot of people need to kind of, especially in the army or in the military, need to kind of see like, who are at that weird place like where I was, where it's like, you just can't stand it. Like, ugh. but it's like that in every job. Obviously ours is a lot more high pace and crazy, but in any job, it's always going to be something that's you're not going to like and just have to kind of make the best of it and that's just life in general but anyway so I feel the last video that I was um, so I just wasn't sure I had no clue I just hated my job I hated everything like it just sucked and um, I think this year just kind of sitting back and be able to reflect on what's happened um, obviously me being deployed losing my civilian job while losing I got furloughed um, it just kind of made me realize like the army saved me in a way um it saved me and kenny in a way um we never were jobless and i think that just like kind of secured my decision it wasn't an easy decision by any means like by any stretch of the imagine any stretch of the imagination but i just definitely realized like i need to use it more for my benefit and i will reap the harvest later on in my life down the line um and obviously my next enlistment, if it once it comes up, it may change or whatever. But anyway, let me stop dragging it on. I have decided um, to go ahead and extend my contract. Um, yeah, I've decided to stay in the army, despite what my family says, despite what my friends are saying, or really it's my family. Um, most of them are really supportive, so I won't even say my family, but it was not an easy decision at all. I just, I kind of had to weigh out my pros and cons, but I really think this pandemic and in general, like everyone was losing their jobs. There are so many people who don't have a job right now still, and I've been gainfully employed. Um, like it's it's been a blessing, um, and obviously a curse at the same time. But it's been so much more of a blessing, and I just kind of have to look at the pros. They're just outweighing the cons, and for those who have like that leadership and that are just so dreadful. Don't ever let, and I have to like really learn this, don't ever let someone ruin your bag. Like don't ever let someone ruin your money, your future, your retirement. It's not worth it. Every, like this too shall pass. It'll always get better. 
um, one day and just, just don't think about the now think about the later um, but yeah I was I was really ready to get out because I got so tired of leadership I just got so tired of the back and forth and being away from my family really sucked but you make it work and we've made it work this whole time it's yeah so I decided to go ahead and re-up for two years I was gonna do the six years but I felt like that was like too long of a prison sentence I couldn't do that again um, the 20k was very tempting but uh, I went ahead and re-listed for six year or for two years and I got a bonus with that I thought that was a pretty good bonus for two years um, but yeah I I did it I haven't actually sworn in or done anything like that yet but um my enlistment my enlistment um contract for this six years my first six years doesn't end until april 21st of next year but i did go ahead and like do the paperwork and stuff to go ahead and start the um contract like the paperwork to, to that i want that says that i want to re-enlist if that makes sense so yeah that's what's happening and so i will be in the army for a, a little bit longer and i think for me i'll just kind of do that two-year contract um in increments just do two-year increments i think it's better on my soul and it's better on my mental well-being because six years is for me is just too much like it's dreadful like oh my god i have four more years left i have five more years left of this contract and i think i feel like i'm in more more control if i just do the two-year increments so that is my decision um yeah so i just got done with school um, the army sent me to school it was online if you guys want me to do like a um like a day in the life like doing online school i would definitely do that video i thought about doing it but if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments um but yeah, that's basically what this video is. And anyone right now who's just kind of not sure of what they want to do, um, like as far as like getting out of the military, the military is definitely not for everybody. Um, and that's just kind of up to you to decide that for yourself. But always know like you'll never be in this position forever. And you guys, we have to be those people. We have to be those soldiers, the future soldiers who are replacing the leadership and are doing better than them it'll never get better if we don't do it ourselves you know so um yeah i get it i understand it i know like leadership and units are just they can suck it's like a hit or miss they can either suck or be really good but I just know like it's this it's any civilian job is the same way but obviously we're sucked into a contract that we decided to do ourselves it's kind of different but um, just think about your money, your family, um, the future. So that's what I did, and that's just kind of what I've come up with. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think I I think I made the right decision. Um, am I missing anything? But yeah, I I can't believe six years is already here, almost here. Um, I. I I can't believe it. I'll leave like on my whole military journey either in a card. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it on a card up here, um, or up here, I don't know which way it is. Um, just so so y'all know, like, where I started from. I was 19 years old when I decided to do this and had no idea what I was doing, had no idea what I had in store for me, had no idea what I got myself into. Like, seriously, joining the military is just not something you take lightly, and I totally did. I mean, I was nervous about it, but I just never knew how life-changing it would be um, mentally. Um, at the time but it's I think it's done so much more good than harm in my life so yeah but yeah I, I hope the people that I've encouraged over the years that are either in the military now that I've um, helped you craft a great career um, and just I never want to stop encouraging you all to like just make a great future for yourself and whatever that may be whether that be the military or getting out of the military i'll always support you guys if, like whatever you decide to do um but just yeah i don't know i don't know what i'm saying anymore but i just my career had just been really like rel like just deviling in it deviling in it just all year just with this whole pandemic and being deployed and i just know like this is probably probably gonna be my career for the rest of my life or not the rest of my life but until i retire just yeah the army saved me this year for sure um 
But anyway, so the, that's the video. I've officially decided to re-enlist. Sergeant Sneed is re-enlisting. Um, I should be getting pen sergeant pretty soon. As you guys know, I did make sergeant last year, but it's been such a long process getting into school. Um, so I haven't like, I wasn't officially pinned, if, that's, if that makes sense. Um, I didn't mention before, like, I was going to explain to you why I, I wore the sergeant rig before and then I stopped wearing it and I went back to corporal. Um, it's just because, um, one of the, like, officers or whatever was like, you know, I think you just, like, he was just basically like, you deserve to have this ceremony. You deserved, like, like, going from, you know, specialist to an NCO, that's a really big deal. And I agree with him, but, like, he's like, just because your leadership sucks doesn't mean that you deserve you don't deserve to have a good like promotion ceremony so i think he was like you need to just wait and i was like okay so yeah he was just basically i thought i went back to wearing corporal just because he was like you deserve so much better than that and you're gonna get it basically like you're gonna be pinned the proper way um so yeah anyway that's why i stopped wearing sergeant or i stopped wearing sergeant i only wore like maybe one maybe like not very long um but i agree with him so Anyway, so I should be getting pinned very soon. I finally finished school. And yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave your questions down below if you have any because I'm going to be doing a QA. and a It could be military-related, military personal-related, school, whatever. Um, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.